Happy Wednesday. Today we have full body strength. All you need is a set of dumbbells and a chair if possible. I'm gonna get you guys set up here on my live feed. Get the music going. Oh yeah, here we go. Some strength today. Alrighty. Full body strength, dumbbells, a bench or a chair. It's gonna be great. Some water. Hello, Amy. Happy Wednesday. How are you feeling? Are you sore at all after <laughs> the last two days? I'm feeling that. I did a little yoga before this. <laughs> so I'm a little tight. Happy Wednesday. Beautiful day outside. Um, so if you do have dumbbells, grab a set of those. Um, and then if you have some sort of like chair, bench, Go for it, bring it in. Um, if you don't, totally fine. You can use, you can do whatever um, we're doing today without the bench. All right, so option. All right. Give another minute here. Sure. You could be the only one. <laughs> You might be. All right. Can you hear me all right? Music's so good. Get this set up. All right, all right. <clears throat> Can you believe we're halfway through June? It's insane. Can't believe it. All right. So, we'll get started here since we are at 11.30. All right, so, hello, Emily. Hello, hello. So dumbbells, if you have them, a chair, bench, if you have that as well. Let's get started here. I'm gonna move this out of the way so I don't kill myself here on the chair. So when you guys are ready, all right, we'll just start by jogging in place. All right, so get warmed up here, a little strength today. Should be good. Have it all lined up for us. I'm excited. All right, so just jogging in place. Get that body warmed up a little bit. Good. Nice work, nice work. And again, lay on those toes. Nothing too crazy. Awesome. All right, pick up those feet a little bit. We're gonna do some butt kickers. All right, so get the heels to the butt. Keep the core nice and tight. Again, if you just want to stand here and do some hamstring curls, that's totally fine as well. All right, always an option if you need to. Keep holding with those mount or those butt kickers though. Good. Nice job, nice job. All right, great. Relax that. We're gonna do some backward lunges. All right, so you're coming down and back. All right, so you get a nice 90 degree bend in those legs. Warm that lower body. You want to add a little twist. Add a little twist to it. All right, so lunge back, hold, and twist. All right, just a few more reps here. Good. Awesome, all right, when you're ready, jumping jacks. All right, so again, stepping side to side if you need to. All right, tapping wide. I always hit that fan of mine. <laughs> Good, again, jumping jacks. Great job, great job. Good, all right, from here we're gonna do some squats. All right, so feet underneath those hips, squat down nice and deep, and then you're back up. So, if you can go a little bit lower with each rep, go for it. Good. 
do it. Just again, get warmed up, working out any kinks, any areas of tightness that we got. Good, nice job. All right, from here we're gonna do some hip opener. So I want you to do, I call this open the gate. So you're gonna lift that knee up, out and around, and back down. All right, so we'll open the gate, keep that core tight as we're staying strong here, nice and tall as we're making that circle outside with those legs. Good. We're gonna close the gate now, so you're gonna be opposite. Come from behind here, out wide, finish in and down. All right, so again, bring those legs up, get those hips warmed up. Good. All right, when you're ready, we're going back into those jumping jacks. All right, so really get those arms up overhead. All right, let's get that upper body going. All right, good stuff, good stuff. You're doing great. Keep it going. Awesome. Nice job, nice job. All right, let's get those hamstrings stretched out a little bit. We're going to do some hamstring work today. So I want that foot, that leg out in front of you nice and straight. So my left leg's nice and straight. I'm reaching for my toes, feeling the stretch in those hamstrings, the back of the legs. Keep that other leg nice and a little slight bend there. All right, we're going to switch sides. So really sink into it. Breathe in nice and deep. Good. Nice job, nice job. Good. All right, we're going to make a lunge to the ground, all right? So from the side here, lunge out with whatever leg you would like. You're gonna place those hands in the center or on the center of the foot, all right, on the inside. All right, you're holding this stretch here, feel a nice stretch along those hips. All right, good. Go back to a nice high plank position. You got some mountain climbers. All right, so in and out with those legs. Keep the shoulders right over the hands. Good. Then you're gonna bring your opposite leg forward into that runner's lunge. Hands on the inside as well to feel that nice stretch. All right. So hold it here. Good. Back out to high plank. All right. Mountain climbers again. All right. Core tight as fast as you want. All right. Good job. I want you guys to walk hands back towards your feet. Stay up nice and tall. We're just going to finish with some arm circles. Oh, boy. All right. So arm circles here. Nice and wide. We're going forward here. So again, good range of motion. All right, then we'll get started with our strength. Let's go backwards here. All right, if there's anything else that you do need to stretch, take some extra time to, you, to do that, all right? If you want to do that instead of the arm circles, go finish across our chest. Extend nice and wide, back across. Good. Awesome job. All right, let's grab some water if you need to grab some water. Before we get started with our um, sets today, we're gonna do one minute of some like a power explosive movement. So we're gonna do our speed skaters, all right? So if you aren't familiar with those, all right, it's a nice lateral movement. You're hopping side to side, all right? You can stand balanced in the air or you can rest that back leg on the ground. All it is, you're swinging your arms back and forth. We're gonna do one minute, all right? Speed skaters as fast as you can, as many reps as possible, and then we'll work into our strength. All right, so let's get it started here. One minute speed skaters, and here we go. So really push off, all right? Balancing that core again. You can go whatever pace you'd like. You just got one minute, all right? So you should feel those outer glutes and thighs working. Swing the arms, engage the upper body. Good stuff, you got one minute. Again, if you wanna reach and touch the ground, That'll be a little bit more of a challenge. Keep that chest tall though, right? So we're not folding over, strong back, side to side. Good job, good job. We got about a little under 30 seconds, all right? Here we go. Come on. Already over halfway. Push strong here, explode side to side. Tap that leg for balance behind you if you need. Last 10 seconds, all right? Keep going here, get that heart rate up a little bit. Good. Three, two, and one. All right, solid, grab some water if you need. All right, we're gonna need the bench or a chair if you have for this first set. So, again, you don't have to um, use the bench if you don't have one, all right? So, 
All the rounds today, we have four rounds, two exercises per round or per set, okay? We're gonna go back and forth between the two, 45 seconds of work, 15 second rest, all right? So, first exercise, if you wanna hold some weights, hold some weights at your side. You're gonna do a step up onto this, on this chair, all right? Step up, coming back down, then you're doing a reverse lunge on the same leg. All right, so I step up with my right, or my left, sorry. <laughs> And then I lunge back with my left. Again, your choice. If you want to do one leg for half the time and then switch to the other leg, go for it. If you want to alternate back and forth, that's fine as well. All right? So step up, reverse lunge. You have push-ups next for our second exercise. You can do elevated push-ups onto the bench. All right? You can do regular push-ups on the ground. Again, high plank position or low plank. You also can do decline push-ups. So put your feet on the bench. And you're going down. This is going to be the hardest one, okay? So, 45 seconds of each. You're starting with those step ups in the lunge, moving into the push ups. Four rounds, 45 seconds. Are we ready? All right, so grab your weights. And I'm going to grab my nice pink ones here. 45 seconds. Ready? And here we go. All right, push up, stand tall, and reverse down. I'm going to do the same leg. A little easier, I think, for me to coordinate that. Keep that nice bend in those legs. Push up through the heel as you stand up nice and tall. Weights are always optional. Good. When you're ready, you're going to switch legs. All right, so about halfway here. So push up nice and tall. And then you're lunging. Remember, same leg. Good. Engage the core. Nice and strong. Good stuff. Almost there, you got five seconds. Good. And relax. All right, so choose your option for the push-up. Regular push-ups on the ground. Elevated push-ups, decline push-ups. All right, you have 45 seconds, as many reps as you can. I'm gonna start with some elevated push-ups. Ready, and there's my timer, here we go. So, nice and strong. Keep that body in a nice straight line. Keep that core. Tight, your butt's nice and tight. Again, breathing here as many as you can. If you need to stop and take a break, go for it, okay? Whatever you can do, engage the core, work that chest here. Working a lot, good. You have 15 more seconds, you can do this. All right, keep working with me, keep breathing, good. Nice, challenge yourself here. We got five more seconds, all right? Five more. Good, and relax, all right? Round one done. So if you wanna add some extra weight for these step ups, go for it, all right? So grab those weights. Round two, step up, reverse lunge, ready, and let's go. All right, so stepping up, lunge back down, nice and deep. You don't have to rest that back knee on the ground. All right, you can just kind of hover. Remember, push up through the heel to engage those glutes. Stand tall. Breathe here. Great job, great job. Nice. All right, let's switch legs whenever you can. If you just are alternating, oops, just alternate, keep alternating back and forth. Remember, lunge, back, good. Strong legs here. Again, if you don't have a bench, you can just do backward lunges, you can do forward lunges, that's fine. All right, relax, nice work. All right, good stuff. I might try some decline push-ups this next one. All right, so again, use the bench, use the ground, push-ups, ready. And here we go, if you do have wrist issues, you don't wanna be on your wrist with those push-ups, Go on the ground, you can just do a regular chest press with those weights up overhead, all right? Always an alternative. So again, try to challenge yourself here. I'm going down, decline, a little more challenging. Keep breathing through your nose, out through your mouth. All right, keep that body nice and straight. Butts nice and tight. Nice. Keep working. You have 10 more seconds. Get those reps in. Good job, good job. Awesome. Three, two, one.
two, one, and relax. Woo, that really got me sweating. All right, so back to the step ups, all right? So again, option, add some weight. So our third round, we're gonna have one more after this. All right, ready, and here we go. Step up nice and tall. Those of you who have a nice tall chair, you know, the little work might be working a little bit harder. All right, so whatever height you're at, doesn't matter. I want you to think about push up through that heel, 90 degree bend. Okay, you can do this. Dig deep, nice core tight. We're gonna switch here, switch sides. Deep into that lunge. Good. Again, take your time. Don't need to rush. Remember, we want good form over everything here. Good, almost there. Good, three, two, one, and relax. Great stuff. Alrighty, find your push-up push up position. Alright, I challenge you. Alright, challenge yourself. Try a different movement with the push-ups. Elevated, decline, regular, and you're on. Okay? So, if you need to be on your knees, you can always do it on your knees for that elevated push-up. Alright? Depending on how high your chair is, it might be a little awkward, but again, try it. See how you can always adjust. Remember, you can always do a chest press on the ground with those weights. Again, 45 seconds. You're going as hard as you can. Now, it may not mean fast, it just might mean you're trying new things. You're getting a little bit lower on each rep. All right, you're taking less breaks, but you can do it. All right, good stuff. You got five seconds. All right, get those last few reps in and relax. Great job. All right, last round, 45 seconds of each, and then we will move on, all right? Pick up those weights. I challenge you, grab a heavier set, all right? Again, body weight is totally fine. Ready? And here we go. Again, if you don't have a step, just do a forward and a backward lunge on the same leg, okay? So again, you can do half and half. All right, you can keep the same leg and then switch, you can alternate, okay? This is it, your last chance here. Keep pushing hard, work in the lower body. All right, switch when you can, all right? Whenever you're able to, switch legs. Last half, oh, I'm getting up my feet mixed up here. Good, here we go. Nice job, it's hard to talk and coordinate this at the same time. <laughs> Awesome, last five seconds. Get another rep in here. Good, and relax. All right, last opportunity for those push-ups. All right, let's see what you got. So, I'm gonna do my decline ones again for a little challenge. Ready, three, two, and we're on. All right, 45 seconds. Woo, feel that burn. Feel those, that body working. Remember, core is tight. All right, as many reps as you can. Keep that butt nice and tight as well. Keep that body in a nice straight line, right? From the head to the toes, straight. Come down together, come up together. You have under 15 seconds, all right? Here we go, here we go, finish strong. You can do it. Awesome. We got three, two, one, and relax. Great job. All right, shake those arms out. All right, grab some water. Awesome work. We're gonna move on, all right? Good stuff. All right, so we're good. We're still gonna use the bench here for this next set. Again, always optional as well. So, same thing, four rounds, 45 seconds work, just changing up the exercises. So, we're gonna start this time with single leg RDLs. RDL is just a short abbreviated for Romanian deadlift. So work the hamstrings. You can hold one weight or two. Simple hip hinge, all right? Just like the deadlift, all right? That we're going down. We're just gonna do single leg. So you're gonna hinge the hips. Kick your leg back as you bend forward. Feeling that stretch along the back of your legs. Go down as far as you can until you feel that stretch, okay? Think about almost like a golfer picking up a golf ball out of the hole, all right? 
I'm not good at golf, but you know, it's a good analogy. <laughs> so, kick the leg back and stay up nice and tall. So single leg RDLs. If you're not comfortable with that, again, just regular RDLs is fine, all right? So again, regular deadlift with both legs, okay? From there, we have a one-arm bent row. You're gonna take your bench, one hand, keep a nice bend in those legs, strong back. You're gonna row into those bottom ribs, all right? Squeeze the shoulder blade in. Again, half on each side. We'll switch and you'll do the same thing on the other side. So, single leg RDLs, one-arm bent row, four rounds, okay? Get my timer set here. Are we ready? And let's get it started. So, RDLs. Again, kick the leg back. Stand through nice and tall. Again, take your time. Focus on that core, right? So as we're going down, that core is nice and controlled. Plant that foot into the floor, all right? Spread those toes wide. Good job. And let's switch legs. So when you can, transition. Kick that back leg back. Keep the shoulder blades locked in. Good, you can always steady yourself with that other leg as you come to the top. 10 seconds, all right? Here we go. Work the hamstrings. Get those glutes fire as well. Good, and relax. All right, bent row. I'm gonna use two dumbbells here, so if you can, so. All right, so again, like I said, slight bend in those legs. Soft knees, you're rowing. Let that arm hang down, and here we go. If you don't have a bench or a chair, just a simple bent row is fine. Just keep the one arm going at a time. All right, so keep those legs tight. Keep that core nice and tight. You're looking straight down. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. Good stuff. Feel those lats. You're gonna feel right on the outside of the back there work. We're gonna switch arms when you can. Alright, so switching arms, rowing nice and controlled, keep the elbow tucked in so as you're rowing, elbow stays in, you're not coming out too far, okay? So, rowing, good, doing great, keep pushing here, three, two, one, and relax, alright? So, second round, already gone through those exercises, add some weight if you would like to add some weight, take off weight, alright? By the way, it's always a great option if you need to, okay? So back to those single leg RDLs, are we ready? And here we go. This round, I want you to think about kicking your back leg back as far as you can. So I'm using, I'm working my left leg here for the RDL, I'm kicking my right leg behind me. So think about really kicking that right leg back, okay? So engage, you're gonna engage the glutes and the hamstrings on that side too, even if you're not working that one right now. All right, switch legs, okay? Hello, Larissa. Good, so kick back, stand tall. Focus, find a focal point here in front of you. Nice and controlled, balance with the core. Good, you got three, two, one, and relax. Great job, all right? So again, just like with the rows, if you need to grab some weight to add on, add some extra weight. So. Nice, strong stance here with the legs, soft knees, we're rowing back. Here we go, 45 seconds. All right, so don't forget about those legs and that core. I know we're doing a back and arm exercise, but you have a nice strong base here, plant those feet into the ground. Think about when you squeeze that shoulder blade together, you bring those dumbbells towards the ribs. All right, think about that back muscle that's working, all right? and switch arms, all right, when you're ready, switch the weights, here we go, here we go, breathe in here, good job, nice and controlled, if you find yourself and you have extra weights, you find yourself really pumping those arms, try to add some more weight the next time, okay, so nice and controlled, challenge yourself, we got three, two, one, and relax, all right, we're halfway through, again, add some weight, if you'd like to add some weight, we're doing those RDLs, all right? Picking up that golf ball, right? Ready, and here we go. All right, so kick that leg back. Soft knee as you're bending down, all right? Control, if you haven't already done the single leg, maybe try to do the single leg this round. So 
Again, you can always just do two legs at a time. Remember, you're hinging at the hips, the butt goes back. All right? So if you have been doing double, try the single leg option. If not, stay here. We're gonna switch sides. Whenever you can, switch legs. Kick that leg back behind you. Make sure we're standing tall. All right? Stand tall at the top. You guys are crushing it. Keep it going. You got five more seconds. All right, three, two, one, and relax. Great job. All right, we're rowing. Remember, always a bent row if you wanna do a regular bent row if you don't have a chair or a bench. Third round, 45 seconds. Let's get it going, and let's begin. All right, I'm working on my uh, grip strength here, holding two weights at the same time, not the easiest. Good, here we go. So you're comfortable, so challenge yourself, all right? Keep pushing. Remember, good form here. I'm really trying to hold on to these weights. I'll slip out of my hands. Good. Almost there So we switch sides. And let's switch so when you can. Transfer that weight. We're rowing. Work the back. Work those arms. Working that core. Breathe here. Come on, you can do this. Good job. We got five more seconds left on our timer. Strong back. Nice. And relax. All right. Last round, final round. This is your final opportunity. Add weight if you need. Try the single leg option, okay? You guys are doing awesome. Let's finish strong and then we're moving on, okay? Ready? And here we go. All right. So nice and strong. Stand up tall. Again, if, even if you don't have weights, you're still going to work on those hamstrings, right? So if you're thinking about the hamstrings, the back of the legs, and those glutes, as you go down, think about keeping it nice. All right? So weights or no weights, always can get a good workout in. We're going to switch sides, all right? So kick the leg back. Steady yourself here. Plant that foot to the ground. Soft knee. Good job, good job. Turn around so I can see my timer. <laughs> Good. Three, two, one. And relax. Alrighty. Are you ready? Last set of those rows. Okay. Hello, Bonnie. Alright, last set of the bent rows here. 45 seconds. Let's see if I can find a better position. Here we go. Alright, let's begin. So hand on the bench. Soft knees. You're rowing. Be intentional here, all right? So again, like I said before, think about what we're working here. Working those lats, the outer back, okay? Working your arms. Again, no bench, no problem. Just row straight here. Simple bent row. All right, let's switch sides. I'll switch my weights. These great pink weights, I'm loving it. Good, so rowing in. Again, use the bench if you would like. You got 10 seconds left, all right? 10 seconds, and then we'll move on. Good job, keep working. Three, two, one, and relax. Nice, all right. Let's take a break here. Grab some water, all right? Again, at any point, questions, concerns, add to the comments. I will be more than happy to help you with those, all right? So as you're Taking a breather, resetting here. I'm gonna show you what we're doing next. So, let me move this out of the way a little bit. We're gonna do a little combo lunge movement here, all right? So I suggest that like, for spacing purposes, just do one side at a time and then we can switch. So you're gonna do a curtsy lunge followed by a lateral lunge. So the curtsy lunge, again, hold weights, up to you. All right, you're gonna lunge back on like a 45 degree angle, all right? You're gonna come back to center, and then you're gonna do a side lunge on that same leg. So curtsy lunge, side lunge. When you do that side lunge, you're keeping the leg that you're lunging out with, you're keeping the other one nice and straight, you're sinking into that heel and coming up, okay? So lunge back, and then go to the side, all right? And we're gonna do each side. So curtsy lunge, lateral lunge. From there, you're gonna go you're gonna use your bench, all right? We're gonna do some tricep dips. So, you're gonna put your fingers facing towards your butt, legs out extended, coming down, 
and back up. Again, you can bend your legs, all right? That makes it a little bit easier. Keep those elbows tucked in. If you are having issues, again, it hurts your wrist, you also can do tricep kickbacks, which I can show you as well, all right? So, four rounds, and we're starting with those lunges. Curtsy, side lunge, okay? Alternating back and forth between those. Let's get our timer here. Ready, and here we go. So, again, you got that curtsy lunge. And you got that side lunge. All right, you can hold one dumbbell or two. Think about, again, pushing up through that heel. All right, standing tall, curtsy, side. If you just wanna do a side lunge, just do a side lunge. If you just wanna do a curtsy lunge, just do a curtsy lunge. We're gonna switch legs. So when you can, all right, coming back, and then you got to the side. All right, I'm gonna come a little closer here. My bench is in my way. Good. So, curtsy, side lunge. Stand tall here, stand strong. We got three, two, one, and relax, okay? So, tricep dips, remember. Again, hands are gonna face towards you. We're dipping down and pushing back up. 45 seconds, as many as you can, ready? Here we go. So down and up. All right, keep the core tight. Again, you can always do a little tabletop position, drop your butt down, push up, feel the back of the arms work. If you're not comfortable with that, tricep kickbacks, hold those weights, bend those elbows. You're hinging just at the elbow. So you're not swinging, just kick back like you're gonna punch someone behind you. Nice and controlled, all right? So again, keep working on those tricep dips. If you're doing the tricep dips, Add weight on your hips if you would like to, all right? When you're doing those dips. Five seconds left. Work those triceps. Good, and let's relax. Good stuff. All right, we're back to those lunges. So, curtsy, remember, back on a 45 degree angle, and then out to the side. Halfway, on, half on each leg. Ready, and here we go. So lunge and back down to the side. Keep those toes facing forward as you do that side lunge. All right, so sink into that heel, okay? Good job. Keep breathing. There we go, here we go. And when you can, switch sides, all right? So, curtsy, lateral lunge. Do a little, work on our minds a little bit as you think about it. Good, sink deep, as deep as you can. Some people can go really deep, other people can't go as deep. That's totally fine. Just go, do what you can. Great work, three, two, and relax. Alrighty, we're back out to the tricep dips. All right, so if you didn't try the tricep dips last time on the bench, maybe try it this time, okay? Ready, round two, let's get it started. All right, down. Woo, and up. Again, keep the elbows tucked and tight here as you're doing this. Come down, up, breathe. Good job. Again, you can always be at tabletop here. Again, you can take breaks, all right? If you need to take a break, go for it. If you can't go for the full 45 seconds, try to do 30, all right? Good, breathe in through the nose. Out through the mouth. You have 10 seconds. Feel that burn. Woo! Oh yeah. Nice. Three, two, one. And relax. Ooh man. All right. Roll up those wrists a little bit. Nice job. All right. Third round. Grab your weights. We're back to the legs. Curtsy. Lateral. Ready. And here we go. All right. Side lunge. So a nice backward lunge. Keep that leg that's out front when you do the, uh, the curtsy lunge. Toes facing forward, all right? Knees straight here, good. Sink into the side lunge, come on. We got this. When you can, switch legs, all right? Second half here, the 45. Good job. 
deep into that curtsy lunge, all right? Step back, get that good 90 degree bend, even as you're going backwards. Nice, five more seconds. Keep working and relax. Alrighty, so third round, tricep dips. Or if you're doing those kickbacks, go for the kickbacks. All right, third round, you can do this. Ready, and let's go. So again, your kickbacks, just driving back. Keep it a nice soft bend in those legs. All right, nice and controlled. Again, think about back of your arms. All right, that's what we're working right now. So let that drive this movement. Okay, core tight, all right, push hard here. Again, elbows tucked in on both the kickbacks and those tricep dips. Come on, come on, here we go. Yeah, good stuff, under 10 seconds, we got this. We got one more round coming up. Good, three, two, one, and relax. All right, set those weights down. Oh wait, just kidding, you might need them for <laughs> the lunges. What am I doing? All right. Last round. Curtsy. Lateral lunge. 45 seconds. Grab weight. Add some weight. And you're off. Okay? So challenge yourself. If you haven't been adding weight, maybe grab a light set of dumbbells if you have them. All right? If you have been using weight, get some heavier weight. All right? So curtsy. Hello, Jude. Good. All right, switch sides. So, curtsy, lateral, same leg. Dig deep, stand tall, all right? Keep those shoulders back. Push hard, as deep as you can to that side lunge. I know it's a little tricky, all right? Good. Last three, two, one, and relax. All righty, tricep dips, last time, 45, and we're moving on, all right? Make it count. All right, find your spot on your chair. Grab your dumbbells for doing kickbacks. Ready, join me. Here we go, let's feel that burn. I'm on. Going down. Again, if you wanna add weight, you can always bend your legs and put weight right there on those legs. All right, always an option. All right. I challenge you guys, if you haven't used the dips yet, try to do a few, all right? Maybe do five or 10 and then go back to your kickbacks, okay? Whatever you gotta do, just keep challenging yourself. Keep moving as much as you can. Great work, great work. You got 10 more seconds. Woo, I'm feeling it. Come on. Nice and controlled. Good, three, two, one, and relax. All right, nice job. All right, grab some water. Pause our timer here. Good stuff. Feel those arms work. All right. So, again, we're gonna need our lovely bench here. All right. So, it's a classic chair. So we're gonna do some elevated hip bridges. All right. So we're back to the glutes, the hamstrings, even the lower back and core. All right. So, just like we would normally do for our hip bridge on the ground, we're just gonna put our feet on top of the bench. Again, always optional if you don't have a bench or if you don't want to do it, okay? So, that's going to look like here, all right? So, get close to the bench. You're going to put your feet up, all right? Wherever you are, that's kind of might be like halfway, kind of like the heels resting. You're going to lift up into the bridge and then back down. So, pushing up, extend, push the glutes, push the hips, and repeat back down, okay? So, if you're feeling strong, feel like you want to challenge yourself, do a single leg for those elevated hip bridges. If not, you're doing the same thing, just on the ground, okay? So hip bridges. Your last exercise in this set, we're doing isometric bicep curls, one of my faves. So grab two weights, all right? One arm is gonna be held at 90 degrees, all right? So holding this like middle of this bicep curl position, while the other arm is curling your, the weights up and back down for half the time, then you're gonna switch. You're gonna hold that arm down or at 90 degrees and then you're gonna curl with the other one, okay? So, that's what we got, all right? So we're gonna start with those hip bridges elevated with the feet 
on the bench. All right, so 45 seconds for my timer. And then we're gonna move into those bicep curls. Are we ready? This is our last set. We're gonna crush it. And here we go. All right, so let me get position here. Again, you can always rest weight on your hips. Back down. All right, so push up. Get those hips as high as you can. Maybe hold at the top. Hold for a second and then release. All right, so push through those heels. You should really feel the butt, feel those hamstrings. Again, single leg, always an option. That's just gonna be a little bit more challenging for you. All right, whatever you gotta do. Controlled, you have 10 seconds left. All right, push up and then back. Good, keep the core tight. And let's relax. Woo, I don't think my hamstrings have recovered, recovered from like the whole week, so that was fun. All right, so grab those weights, bicep curls. Remember, all right, you're holding one weight, I'm gonna hold two and one because, you know, we have so many weight options here at this house. <laughs> all right, so holding, all right? So you're curling up, back down as you hold your arm at 90 degrees, all right? Again, I'm not there with you, but no cheating. Don't rest that hand against your hip, all right? So keep that arm out as you're holding 90 and you're curling. You can do this, all right? Good job, stand tall, we're gonna switch. All right, so switch sides, hold at 90, curling up, release that arm all the way down, all right? Good full range of motion. Again, don't rest this hand on that hip or against your body in some form, all right? No cheating. Good, three, two, one, and set that down, all right? Awesome, round one, cross that off, round two, Back to the bridges. You okay, guys, so add weight if you want to add weight. Always option for single leg. Let's get this. Ready? Get in your spots. And here we go. All right. So again, hold at the top and back down. All right. So push up through the heels. Keep everything tight. Remember, be, be intentional. But hamstrings are tight. All right, that's where you should be feeling this. Maybe even the lower back, work on some low back strength. All right, that all helps the core. Good, keep breathing. Nice job. Come on, all the way down as, and as high up as you can. All right, Ooh, my hamstrings are screaming at me. Good job, you have five more seconds. Keep going. And relax, oh yeah. Woo, those feel great. Those feel phenomenal. All right, bicep curls, all right? Adjust weights if you need to, all right? So, hold at 90, all right, ready? Here we go, hold at 90, curling up with the other hand, all right? As you're standing here, core, super tight. You're standing tall. Now, if you get to the point where you're like arching yourself to get those weights up, drop the weight, okay? You can always take off weight. You can always, all right? Keep working, keep holding at 90. All right, let's switch. Switch sides. A little transition here, oh yeah. All right, so you always adjust. Good, breathe here. Working those arms. Dig deep, dig deep. All the way down, all the way back up. Good, three, two, one, and relax. Alrighty, third round, all right? You got this, again, maybe try to add some weight in your hips as you're doing these hip bridges. Maybe do a few seconds of single leg either side. All right, so a few options for you. Ready? And well, let's get it going, all right? So wherever you're at, again, if you need to just be on the ground and push up into that hip bridge, that's fine, all right? But if you have the bench, have that option, I want you to use it if you can. All the way down, pushing up, breathe. We're doing great, we're getting stronger. Stronger every rep here. Again, good form over that speed. Okay, we have four rounds of work, all right? Good job, last 10 seconds, finish strong. Here we go, nice. Almost there, three, two, one, and relax. All right, we are back up. 
All right, solid. All right, biceps, round three. All right, I might be feeling it. So again, can you take off some weight? Take off some weight, all right, as you get a little tired. Pick up those weights, and here we go. You might also find one arm's a little bit stronger than the other. My right arm, I feel like, is always stronger. So you might find there's a little bit of a difference on either side, totally fine. Adjust, okay? So again, fight to keep that 90 degree bend. All right, almost there before we switch. And let's switch, all right, so wherever you're at. Good job, all right, holding, and you're curling. Again, no cheating, don't hold that weight against your side. Good, all the way down, curling up. Good, isolating this muscle group. Three, two, one, awesome, Woo. Alrighty, last round, we made it, okay? Hip bridges, isometric bicep curls, last time, 45 seconds. I'm gonna add some weight, cause why not? Finish strong, here we go. All right, find your spot, and let's get started whenever you can. Pushing up and back down. This is it, this is your last chance here, last time with this exercise. All right, do what you can, good. Nice work, we're already halfway, all right? Last half here, stay strong. Finish all the way to the end. Push up, go ahead and gauge those glutes. Gauge those hamstrings, whoo! I'm feeling it. Good, five, three, two, one. Awesome. Alrighty, weights, bicep curls. All right, this is it. Last 45 seconds, and we're gonna end with some core. All right, ready? And here we go, there's my timer. This is it. Last set here of these curls. Good job. All right, core is nice and tight. You're standing strong. All right, keep pushing as much as you can here. You can do it. Almost there. All right, let's switch arms. Transfer my weights here. Yikes. All righty. There we go. So hold. Hold strong. Come on. Breathe. Keep working with me. You're doing awesome. Come on. Good. Don't give up. We got three, two, one. And relax. Solid. All right. Grab some water. We're gonna have some core, all right? So you can set that chair aside. Let me set that chair aside, all right? So, perfect. All right, we're gonna do three minutes running clock, all right, for three minutes. You have three exercises, 10 reps of everything, okay? First exercise, hollow rockers. You're gonna be on the ground, all right? You're gonna think about keeping your body in a banana shape. So, you're rocking along that lower back, just to those glutes, all right? So you're rocking side to side, or back and forth, all right? For 10 reps, and then you're moving to bicycle crunches. So, again, you're on your ground, shoulder blades off the ground, you're twisting, opposite elbow goes to opposite knee. Your choice, 10 each side or 10 total. From there you got toe taps, all right? So, you're just simply crunching up to the feet, back down. So up, get those shoulder blades off the ground, Reach for those toes. So, 10 hollow rockers, 10 bicycle crunches, 10 toe touches, three minutes, all right? As many rounds as you can. We're working the core as a finisher, and then we will be done, all right? Ready, and here we go, three minutes. All right, starting with those hollow rockers. You're keeping everything nice and tight. That core is tight, rocking back and forth. Don't let those feet touch the ground if you can help it, okay? So banana position, I like to call it. You got 10, all right? And then you move into your bicycle crunches. So opposite and reach. Don't pull on your neck, all right? Your hands can be behind your head, but you're not pulling. Your core is using that, is what's getting you to rotate side to side, all right? Keep those shoulder blades off the ground. 10 reps here, be 10 each side. Be 10 total, 
and you got toe tap, tap, toe taps. Whew. All right, so reaching up and back down. Just a simple crunch, just not take their shoulder blades off the ground. All right, reach for your toes. All right, 10 reaches. You feel that upper core, upper core work in. All right, breathe here. One minute down. All right, as many reps as you can. Find that rhythm that works for you. All right, and then you're back to the start. So again, cycle through three minutes. All right, good job, good job. Quarters brace here on those rockers. All the rockers, one of my favorites. Good, you got a minute and a half left, all right? Minute and a half, push hard. Again, for the bicycle crunches, you can do 10 each side, 10 total, up to you, all right? Just make the most of it here. Again, you don't need to go super fast. Just think about, again, I feel like my theme for this workout is intention. So when you're doing those bicycle crunches, you're working those uh, outer obliques of that core, right? So as you're twisting, you're thinking about keeping it nice and tight, all right, on either side. So tight, work those muscles that we're using, all right? We have our last minute, all right? So finish at least round two, maybe get started on round three, wherever you're at, all right? Hollow rockers, bicycle crunches, all right? Toe taps. Good job, three minutes, this is it. And then we'll stretch and cool down. Good job, finish strong. Nice work, nice work. Come on, get the shoulders off the ground, those toe taps, 30 seconds. All right, 30 seconds, finish 10 reps of an exercise, all right, that's your challenge here for these last 30. All right, whatever that looks like. Breathe, that core should be working hard. I'm feeling it. Nice job. Good, hollow rockers. You got 10 more seconds. All right, keep pushing. Good, five, three, two, one. And relax. Awesome job. Great work with that. Nice finish with that core. All right, grab some water. Again, if you do have to leave or peace out, go for it. Well, I'm gonna here, stay on here just to stretch. You can follow with me. You can stretch whatever you want if you're sore in specific places. All right. So let's just start by, let's hit those hamstrings because I don't know about you, but I'm really feeling them. So we get just like we did in the beginning of the workout. All right, you're gonna kick one leg out straight. You're gonna bend, hinge the hips, sink into the stretch and reach for those toes. You guys crushed it. All right, nice job. Hope you got a good strength workout in, feeling stronger. Good, you can always place that foot flat on the ground too to get a little deeper stretch with those hamstrings. Good, and let's switch sides. All right, so again, breathe into these stretches. You can reach down as far as you're able to. Again, option to place that foot flat on the ground. Nice. Again, the workouts are always gonna be posted on um, this page. You'll find them in the page. You'll find them on my YouTube channel. All right, so you always go back and watch them, share it, like it, uh, tell your friends, all right? We're gonna reach hand or legs nice and wide, reach the hands down towards the center. Alright? So reach nice and long here. Just drop the head, rest your head, alright, keep that neck relaxed. Nice. Good job. Alright, we're gonna do a little figure four stretch. So you can do it on the ground or in the air. Alright, so you're gonna cross that um, angle of your right leg over top of the knee of your left leg. And you're gonna sink hips back. You're gonna feel that stretch right along the outer glutes. You can always do this on the ground as well. Cross that leg and sink into that, okay? So really feel those glutes. Good, breathe here nice and deep. Good job. And let's switch sides. If you're standing, cross that other leg over top. If you're down here on the ground, go for it. All right, so really feel that nice hip stretch. Great work. Awesome, all right, so if you are down on the ground, come back up to standing, all right? Let's just do some shoulder rolls here, all right? So squeeze a little tight and then release as you go down, okay? Good, let's do some forwards. So I was going backwards. If you're going backwards, go the other way. If you're going forwards first, go backwards again. Good, let's really stretch those triceps out. Yeah, we did those triceps, so again, Place that hand nice and flat in the back. All right. And 
Cool, and then kind of put some light pressure, all right, on that, just below the elbow, feel those tricep stretch. Good, all right, let's switch arms here. Good, breathe nice and deep. Good, nice job. All right, let's get those quads, and then we'll call it a day. All right, so again, feel free to stretch as you need. Thanks for joining, thanks for tuning in. You did it live. Um, again, I'm always available. Reach out to me if you have any questions, concerns, things like that, okay? I have my mobility and core workout tomorrow. So get a nice little refresh in the morning to start off your day with get some stretching, all right? So 7.30 tomorrow morning. Awesome, relax. Again, thank you so much. Great work today. Have a good rest of your Wednesday. I'll see you later.